Hello everyone, this is Scamper B. Bum here with another episode of Ratchet and Clank. Last time we got the PDA, found out Quark was alive, also got here to Gordo, Gord, Gorda City, and Clank got immediately lightning zapped right off our back. In this episode, we're going to explore another optional path, the Upper City. This pathway is almost definitely going to be sped up showing the successful attempt through it but starting off here I'm going to tell you a few things you need to know. These little turrets that were at Quark's base are not like his turrets. You can hit them I think with pretty much anything they blow up immediately. And then there's these flying saucers use the Versa Bomb to blow them up immediately because they are basically looking to shoot you with their turrets. So, this is where we're going to basically speed up and I'll post commentate anything that is important that you need to know. Also, I think this pathway will yield quite a bit on the side of bolts and an optional item well, an optional weapon, actually, that is basically become a staple throughout the series. But, another fast-forward episode away! Something I just realized as I start here, make sure you have full ammunition for the Devastator, Versa Bomb, and the Agents of Doom, along with probably the Pyrocitor. Because right here, you'll use the Versa Bombs to fly over this ledge and take out all the security ships that are flying around here. Yes, you still have to take out the turrets, but it's not that big of a deal. Also, be careful when slingshotting that you don't fall off the edge. Here's where you want to use the Agents of Doom and throw them into the middle of that room. Probably, I think it's three. Agent of Doom bomb or groups you have to throw in there, and that should get you to okay. I'm gonna come back here to live commentary to let you know you do not need to be slingshotting to that target right away. I think, oh, I know if you slingshot onto it a little prematurely, you could easily fall to your death immediately here. I also want to mention the Agents of Doom, or the Doom Glove, whatever you want to call it, is a perfect weapon to use right here to take out those little turrets that are flying around. And okay, I was wondering if it would take three shots, or... I forgot I don't have my hover... I don't have Clank, so I can't get the little hover feature. I just felt my heart stop there for a second. Because if you die, you get sent all the way back to the original entrance to this area. But climb to the top of the tower and get the shiny, shiny weapon. Sweet! Congratulations! You just found a Gadgetron Morph Array. Hold down the circle button and keep the beam focused on an enemy. When the meter is full, the enemy will transform. Basically, it's the chicken ring. But I think that should be enough for this episode. We got the chicken ray. Oh, one thing before I go too far. Do not worry about getting the skill point in this level that's about taking out these lampposts. Because the th uh, fourth pathway that has to be opened up after you complete the required path has several on them and you want to get those before you get any of the others because you can die on that path so don't worry about me not getting those lampposts but back to what I was doing again which was my outro in this so oh, that should be good for this episode because we got the chicken ray basically or the morpho ray we really didn't do much else besides get the morpho ray but next time, we're going to be exploring the actual city runes and 
seeing if there's any civilians left to help. This is Scamper B Bum bidding you all adieu.